Cisco Business Dashboard Lite is a simplified version of the Cisco Business Dashboard, CBD. It retains essential features while reducing complexity and resource usage. This option is ideal for users who need basic functionality without the full suite of hardware and software. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll explain the basic features and functionalities of Cisco Business Dashboard, CBD, Lite. Next. CBD Lite automatically discovers your network and lets you configure and monitor supported devices on your network. It also notifies you about firmware updates and devices that are no longer under warranty or covered by a support contract. At release, version 2.8.0, it supports only English. However, future releases are planned to include translations into other languages, such as Chinese, French, German, Japanese, Portuguese, and Spanish. The tool uses several protocols to manage devices, including multicast DNS, MDNS, DNS Service Discovery, also known as Bonjour, Cisco Discovery Protocol, CDP, Link Layer Discovery Protocol, LLDP, RESTConf, and proprietary web service APIs. To discover the network, it initially builds a list of devices by listening to MDNS advertisements. Then, it connects to each device using supported protocols to gather additional information, such as CDP and LLDP adjacency tables. This information helps identify other devices in the network, repeating the process until all devices are discovered. CBD Lite doesn't actively scan the broader network, but you can manually search an IP address range for manageable devices. When this is done, the dashboard will attempt to connect to web servers, HTTPS ports, on each IP address in the specified range to determine if a device is manageable. Now, you may be wondering if the configuration of a new device will change once it's discovered. Well, that depends. If network configuration profiles have been enabled, the configuration will be applied to newly discovered devices. If the network configuration profile is disabled, the device's configuration will not change. For CBD Lite to work correctly, it needs to use certain ports and protocols. TCP port 4443 is used for inbound HTTPS secure web access to the dashboard. TCP port 443 is used for outbound HTTPS device management. Port UDP 5353 is used for MDNS protocol for device discovery on the local network. The app communicates with several Cisco servers for various purposes. For instance, apix.cisco.com is used to retrieve software update information and product lifecycle details. dl.cisco.com and downloadssc.cisco.com are used for downloading software updates. cloudss1.cisco.com is used to authenticate CBD Lite before it communicates with apix.cisco.com. Here are some of the major differences between full CBD and the Lite version. At release, CBD Lite operates on Microsoft Windows only. While CBD supports various virtualized environments, including VMware, VirtualBox, and Hyper-V, it can also be installed directly on Linux. The Lite version must be on the same network as the managed devices. Full CBD can be used from any convenient location, even if it's hosted in the cloud and managed devices are behind network address translation. No configuration changes are necessary for CBD Lite. However, the full version requires device configuration changes, enabling the CBD agent and establishing an active connection. You can find more detailed comparisons online, including a list of devices supported by CBD Lite and their minimum firmware versions. There you have it. It's as simple as that. If you would like to install CBD Lite on your Windows system, click the link in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.